and welcome back to episode 10 of my survival let's play series. I can't believe we are on episode 10 already. In today's episode we are going to be finishing off all of the little details around the swamp area. I have been enjoying building up this area so much and I'm so happy with how it's all turned out but there are a few little details that I still need to finish up and then I will tell you more about the next project in this world. First though, um, let's just hop down underneath the barn here where our sugarcane farm is, where I have added in a couple of extra little farms. Uh, I made this extra area this way and we've got some cocoa beans growing here and also some of the two high flowers that we can bone meal for extra flowers that we can turn into dye. And so if we need any dyes, we can just come down here and collect them as we need them. And then I also made just a tiny little cactus farm, automatic cactus farm, which is collecting, it's doing okay. It's collecting a few cactuses for us. Um, so if we need any green dye, we will have these as well. I most likely will need some different colored dyes for our next project. So that's why I thought I'd get these here ready now because we're probably going to be using them soon. Now, the first detail that I want to finish up in the swamp, here is our shulker chests with all of our loot from the end that we got in the last episode, uh, as well as in our shulker chest. And I need these. And we are going to use these to replace these torches that have been sitting underneath these little mushrooms because... This is what I always had intended and planned for these mushrooms and we just didn't have the end rods and so I was using torches as a placeholder um, until we got them but we have these now so I'm going to go around and replace all of these with end rods and yeah let's do that now. And there we go, they are all replaced and this pathway is looking so much better with the proper mushroom stems in place on these mini mushrooms. And I just love walking down through these paths and through this area. Oh, it's just so cute, I love it. Now, next up, we have this bridge that we built a couple of episodes ago, which I really love, but we also have a bridge over in that direction leading out of the swamp, which is not a nice bridge yet. So I think I want to build another one of these bridges and make it match over there. So we're going to we're going to sleep and then collect up all of the resources that we need and then head over to the other bridge and rebuild a new one of those over there as well. And so now we have a bridge coming out of this side of the swamp and it's basically just the same as the other bridge. I really like this design so I just stuck with the same one and I'm just going to make a little bit of a path coming out here. We will probably build something out in this direction eventually so I just want to put a bit of a path in. That will do, that will do for now. We have a bit of a path. And I think that those are all of the details that I wanted to finish off in the swamp. So what I would really like to do is put some shaders on and take a look around this area with some shaders because I'm really proud of this area and I think that it's gonna look, I hope that it's gonna look even better with some shaders on. Okay, so we're going to come into the swamp from this direction over the bridge and follow the path around through here. Give you 
a little mini tour of the swamp area. So on the left, we have our enchanting tower. And then this way goes underneath our flower, which I love. Uh, this comes around to our main starter house and our map and our barn. Oh, this all looks so good with shaders. And then if we come down here around the house, we have our little, our little farm and our dock area. And we can look across. Oh, look, that's the mine entrance over there. That looks so good with shaders. We will go over there. We'll go over there. And our other dock over there, which... Oh, look how cute it is. That looks so cute. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's carry on. Now, if we come across the bridge, we can look out over, over the waterfall. Let's go down to the nether portal. I love this little path down. Oh, the water to the side. And there's the nether portal. And then up here we have the frog sanctuary. All of the frogs have, have jumped out. So we'll just pretend that they're still in there. These look so much better with the end rods. I'm, I'm really happy that I swapped these out. Over here. Oh, and the sun is setting. Over here we have the mine entrance. This looks so good. Oh, the glow like it is so weird in, in shaders. It's so bright. <gasps> Our forge. Our forge looks so good with shaders. That's so cool. Okay. Let's head outside because the sun is going down and I think that this swamp area actually is going to look even more cool once the sun has gone down. Let's stand on the dock and watch the sun. Oh, we can look over at our house. All our little LA friends who are still just hanging out inside. <laughs> there we go. Now let's take a look around at night time, we'll follow, follow the lanterns. Let's go along this path instead. Up here, this is the other path that goes down to our creeper farm. And this takes us out the other side of the swamp. I love the lanterns and the little mushrooms and the way that they light up the swamp just enough that you can kind of follow the path of the torches and the lights. <laughs> But it's still it's still quite dark, and I I maybe I should shouldn't be doing this because I will definitely get mob spawning. Let's head back to our house and take a look at the main area at night time as well. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Look, look how cute it is at night time with all of the little lanterns, the little barn. Oh my gosh! This is this is so cool. This I'm so happy with this this whole area. I want to look at this flower because I love this flower. I actually put I put a frog light in there so that it's it's got like a glow coming out of the flower to light the path oh oh this is such a good vantage point to look around and see all of the things oh it's so cute i love this area so much i'm so happy with all of the little details that we've added and and all of the builds that we've done and everything in this area is just it just turned out exactly how I was picturing it in my head, which never happens normally to me. And I've just remembered that we have wings now. So let's actually also fly up and take a look at this from up in the air. There's the village. Let's, let's fly in. It's going to make getting to the village so easy. But look, look how cute the swamp looks from above as well. These little, little buildings nestled in. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, let's also update the map. And map updated with our new bridge and the little path 
And now I think that we can say this area is complete. This swamp base area is finished with all of its details. And I am so happy with this area um, and how it's all turned out. But I am just as excited about the next area that we're going to get on to. Uh, but before we move on to our next project, I've been thinking about the frog light farm that we made, the very temporary bad frog light farm that we made a couple of episodes ago and I don't like leaving things half finished so I think that I want to head back to the nether and actually turn that into a proper frog light farm because I really want to use frog lights as well in my building and yeah I just I don't want to leave it unfinished I don't want to I don't want to start a new project while that is still unfinished so I think I'm gonna go and try and finish up that farm finish up that little project and then we'll be ready to start a new one and everything there won't be anything left unfinished when we start our next project okay so i'm back over at my temporary terrible frog light farm and so i need to dig this out a bit more we've got a white frog and an orange frog over here i think just getting two of each should be fine for just for me to get some frog lights i think that that'll that'll get us loads um but i'm gonna i'm gonna dig out this area and then make uh, a spot for the magmas to be eaten and to collect up so yeah let's get let's get digging okay so i'm back i've got some supplies i've dug out a space and a collection pit where do we want this to go <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing, so I'm just going to be making this up as I go. Yeah, that works. Okay, we can cover this over now. Okay. So we have our pit for the for the magma creams to fall down i uh bricked up the frogs into this little enclosure just so they wouldn't be in the way uh and then we have got this little path down oh no 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 oh no oh no oh no i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna die no all of my stuff no 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 ah this isn't good. This is, this is not good. This is not good. I'm back at spawn. <laughs> There's my stuff. Oh, okay. At least my stuff didn't burn in lava. Where was I? What, what was I doing? I need to do something here. I kind of still want to be able to look in. So this goes down to our collection area. Well, I need to make a collection area. Okay, we got this set up we've got a little redstone thing to unpower this so that it will unload when there's stuff in it i've got my hopper minecart and i've collected up a bunch of powdered snow so that we can set up our area at the top to kill the magma so let's just jump down and And I've got more than I need. And there we go. Let's take these out. Oh, and not stand in the snow. <laughs> oh, so now any magmas that fall down here are going to get broken down into their small forms. And then we will bring the frogs down here. I think I want to maybe put some glass here so that I can see what's going on. Now we just need to bring some frogs over. I am just now wondering whether the frogs can actually jump out of this pit. So maybe I needed to make it deeper. Oh no. Okay, there's one orange, one orange, one white. Can you jump out of there? Oh, I have a feeling they might be able to jump out of here. 
<laughs> have I just... Have I messed up? I think you should be fine, even if they can jump out, because they'll go after the magmas, right? They'll go after the small magma. So even if they do get out, they'll just jump back in to eat magma, right? Yeah, that, it'll be fine. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. Okay. Wait here. Okay, we've got some more frogs. Come with me, little friends. Down this narrow tunnel. Oh no. This isn't great. This... Yeah, this... This isn't great. There we go. Cool. Let's get you to the frog light farm. Okay, now we have two of each colour down there. Get an iron golem in. There you go, buddy. Now we just have to wait for the magma to spawn. Okay, so I just did a short little AFK session whilst I was editing the first part of this video. And let's go and see whether our frog light farm is working. Oh my gosh. I think, I think it's safe to say the farm is working. Oh, we got the achievement. For just this tiny little farm with two of each color frogs. Oh, there's one there. I think that's pretty good. We got... We got a stack and a half of yellow and green and a whole stack of purple as well. That's really cool. I think that's that's going to be plenty for the projects that we want to do in this world. We can just come over and AFK at this farm whenever we need some more. Now that all of these projects are finished up, let's head on over to where our next project is going to be. Which, you might have guessed, is the village i'm so glad we can fly over here now it makes this so much easier so currently in this area we have a bunch of villagers locked up in their houses um a bunch of farms for trading so that i could get all of the books the mending books that we traded for and just generally this area is a mess so what i want to build over here is a villager trading outpost area sort of thing um, I don't want it to be a village because I think I just want to do something a bit different from the normal village transformation. I want to make this kind of kind of like the wandering trader themed trading outpost. So lots of like tents and wagons and it's going to be like a crossroads of all of the different places in this world. So we'll have lots of paths going in and out. We'll do a big map to show where everything is in the world. And we will also, of course have a villager trading hall, an actual trading hall, where we can get all of the books and all of the things that we need from villagers. So yeah, I think this, this project's going to be really cool. I'm really excited to get started on this and get started on a villager breeder. I think we'll build an iron farm as well. And yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of stuff that we can do over here uh, with the villagers. Another idea that I have, which I'm not sure if this actually is just going to be... <laughs> far too ambitious of a idea but because it is going to be a trading outpost where villagers come from various different areas to trade I think what would be really cool is if we could get some villagers from different biomes and have a selection of different types of villagers with all the different skins obviously that's going to involve moving villagers which is not the easiest thing to do in this game um so i might i might end up giving up on that uh if it 
is too difficult, but I really like the idea of doing that. So uh, that's definitely something that I'm going to try and do and we'll see how it goes. I also want to get a bunch more llamas. We've got some llamas down there. I'm going to get all the different llamas and uh, different have different coloured carpets on all of them. I might get some donkeys as well. Just anything that kind of fits this theme of wandering trader outpost um, we're going to build in this area. And yeah, I'm super excited to get started on this. So in the next episode, we will be back to playing with villagers and getting started on transforming this area. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.